So here we are guys, welcome in. Bitcoin slides 7% to under 41,000 in volatile trading following early December rally. Earlier this morning in the Asian markets when I woke up we had actually slid down almost 8% and we went down from about 44k down to a nearly 40,000. We did actually go down uh, again and retest. This is the second time we retested today over the course of several hours but we have since regained and established ourselves on some green candles. Now what I'm looking for and to show you guys in this video is exactly when is a really good time to potentially opt in to buy Bitcoin if you are looking and also what I can expect as a price prediction in the short and also the longer term and also what I'm doing with my portfolio we'll also look at some Ethereum and Solana plays as well as the altcoin season is upon us. Guys let's first Firstly, put the charts to the four hour time frame so you can see those candles where we have actually had this big sell off to today. Now, one thing I do want to point out is I use the relative strength index, the RSI, and we can see that we are overextended and we are actually below the 30 volume. Now, what I do is I wait for confirmation of a 30 to actually come up and retest onto the 30. And then what I would expect to happen is for us to come up. If we continue to come down, I wouldn't be buying until, in fact, we do actually touch up onto the 30, which, as you can see, when this clears in a second, we have actually now retraced back here. So now I would expect confirmation to come back up. As you can see, we now are having a green bullish candle. Now, depending on where we close, obviously, we still have quite a few hours left of the day. We could still engulf into a green candle and close above around the 42 mark. If we do, then again, that's very, very bullish for Bitcoin. But let's just hold on a second and take a zoom out. Because if you look at Bitcoin, especially year to date, we are up over a massive 100%. And again, just over the last few months, we are up just humongously humongously. This is an incredible trend, guys, and we are continuing to go up. You know, we've passed down underneath that moving average of the 21 EMA, but that doesn't mean that, again, we've crossed over into a bear market. Volatility is extremely healthy in any market, guys. And again, we can say the same. Ethereum also had that big crash today. Ethereum has been lagging in the price, you know, as relative to Bitcoin. So I still think that this is, you know, a fantastic opportunity. And again, if we were to draw a line up here, you can probably see that we are very, very close almost every time touching on a support level. So this is probably a really good golden opportunity. We're not going to get many more opportunities in the market where we see the relative strength index going into the bull season because, again, if we do get those ETFs approved, we are only going to see, again, that green confirmation, that nice bull action, again, for a lot of the cryptos, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, all of them. Um, as, as we move through, you know, into the new year. ARK have their deadline in January for the ETF. You know, I was watching a latest video on ARK Invest with Kathy Wood and she was saying how bullish she was on Bitcoin and her price prediction of over 500,000 per coin by the year of 2030 as her bear case, which is absolutely massive as we see institutions continue to swamp in and they are going to start to allocate capital once those ETFs are approved. They do have their deadline on around January 10th. So again, and, you know that's just over a month from now if we do see that she said that they did have some good confirmation from the sec that they are expecting that to actually be approved and as soon as we see that again that wide stream adoption this is just the start guys bitcoin is around that 40,000 mark but over the next year if we see all these etfs approved we're going to have a massive amount of liquidity coming into the market and that's just going to mean you know absolutely happy green faces full of green candles and it's going to take off so i'm really not worried about the the short term of this sell off i do think that you know if you are someone that is a, tr a day trader then again these are things that you would pay attention to and this could be a possible entry and especially for the long term i do think that once we do get those etfs approved we are probably going to see the the mark around the forty four thousand mark going up to the 48 maybe even the fifty thousand mark but if we don't see that then again we are definitely going to have some resistance around this area around the 34 mark as you can see and again we do also have some of this around the 38 so bitcoin in the short term could always test around here but again i do expect it to move up once we do get those etfs approved so that's my short term goal with bitcoin as you guys know my largest portfolio holding right now for crypto assets is ethereum as ethereum like i said does tend to lag behind it's just a fantastic opportunity in the long run because financial advisors are going to want to diversify their portfolios and not just going to want to allocate you know all of their money into bitcoin as a crypto holding we do have of course blackrock have also filed for their ethereum etf and again that is just going to have more bullish confirmation so once we do actually get you know back up to those all-time highs if we 
really, really take a second to go out onto the daily chart, you can see that we are still down tremendously from that all-time high. You know, we are down over 50%. So there's still such a long way to go, even before we even trace back near this. And I think Ethereum is a great option for your portfolios for the long term if you are going to diversify. Of course, not financial advice, but this is just something that I'm sharing that I am doing inside my portfolio. And again, looking at Solana, we did have, you know, again, a big drop today, but we have recovered quite significantly, as you can see on here. Let's go to the one hour chart and bring that up. We can see that we have had a sell off, but not quite so dramatic. And we have managed to actually hold this level around <clears throat> the 69 to $70 mark. <clears throat> and again, looking at this year to date, we are still up absolutely tremendously. You know, considering the FTX collapse that happened, you know, earlier this year, we are up incredible, you know, 400% or so. So again, if you just pull out and have a look at the trend, the trend is your friend, guys. You know, we haven't crossed over. We haven't had a massive crash. It's just a pullback. It's just normal volatility in the markets. So keep doing your thing. Don't let all of this thud put you off. Keep smiling. Keep happy. And if you do like this video, you like all the trading elements that I'm popping in on those short term analysis, then please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow and again, subscribe to the channel and I will give you some more crypto updates tomorrow. If you would like to see anything in particular, then please let me know. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. I'm signing off and I'll see you tomorrow.